There's one of the Hive Mind compilation channels. By the way, if you see any of those pop up, subscribe to them. Wow, manipulated a lot too. Too yeah. noisy. That album is incredible though. Like yeah. literally made me cry. You cried. Yes. Real tears. You will you'll cry to that album. No, I won't. Dude. If you yeah, you will. I am so calloused and hardened by the shit life I've lived. Really? Nothing could make me cry anymore. Nothing. I don't know. If Nick Chubb got hurt, I would be. I would probably. <laughs> if Nick Chubb got hurt, that would make you cry. Like a like if a season end, ending injury. No, not even like if a career ending injury. Like his leg was like, <laughs> like part of it flew into the crowd. It's yeah. like I'm a little kid wearing a Chubb jersey. It's like, uh, holding Nick's ligaments. Yeah, like that shit would make me cry. Like that. And Nick Chubb is still down. Yeah, and, and that's a, a nightmare scenario for Georgia fans. Remember, it was on this field two years ago that Keith Marshall was injur injured. And, oh, the finish of that run is scary. It looked like he hyperextended his leg as he stuck. Watch him try to get it. Yep. Oh, no. You have got to, like, wake man. up, dude. <laughs> You have to leave me alone. I, I just... I, you just have to leave me alone. I will in like a second because the video is over, but like it's uh, just this mood that you're in. It's just not... Uh, I don't know what to do, man. You had so much energy at the beginning of the video and then you just lose it. And it's like you hate your life and it's just depressing for the people, you know? I don't care about anyone. Yeah, see, they don't want to see you like this. Like and subscribe. Yeah, I, the, your heart's not in it. I love porn. Okay, yeah, Jeez, I mean, <laughs> I'm so sick, terminally. Of love songs? Nope. So sad and slow, is that what you're sick of? I have blood cancer. Why don't you turn off the radio? If you're sick of hearing those songs, you can turn off the radio. Remember that one? I have six months. You just can't stand those radio songs, the love songs, you know, you're so <laughs> sick of them. It's been really good knowing you. Sometimes the songs will remind you of your real life, and that's a little painful. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, love songs reminds you of that love that you lost. Wow, that feels incredible. Yeah, they say I'm uh, beyond treatment. You know, as much as we love those songs, they, they can be painful to listen to. I understand that. Is it six months if I change my whole lifestyle? But I'm thinking, like, what the fuck's the point? I recommend some happier music until you get over all that heartbreak. You know what I mean? I'm going out with a bang. Yeah. I'm taking others with me. Maybe even some heavy metal, you know, stuff to really get you, like maybe get a pump in at the gym or something like that. I'm gonna blow myself up at a bank tomorrow, noon. I love the love songs. That's what I'll say. I'll say, <laughs> I love them. You know what I mean? I'm not in love right now, but I love love. And so those songs, I mean, I last sing along to them. I'm riding out in my car. I'm happy somebody's in love. I'm gonna digest a bunch of chemical weapons too. So it's not just the explosion that's deadly. It's the aftermath. R&B, ballads, I love them both. I love it all. Pop songs, romance is one of the joys of life. And I, I think there's no sense in sulking about it. Must do not already. <laughs> Get it over with. <laughs> Explode. That's what I'm gonna say at the bank tomorrow. <laughs> what are you, I don't even know what you're talking about. Wilmington, Delaware, 1805. I signed the Declaration of Independence. My penis. That's why they call it the John Hancock. I put a quill in my urethra. We gotta get America. Back to, here it comes, the old train horn. <laughs> My daughter just turned 85 last weekend. Cookout, sunrise, American flag, bicycle. Simpler times when the suburbs were, were safe. There's no rigmarole. A camera. How does it work? <laughs> <laughs> Someone come over, help me set up. My new TV. <laughs> You're kind of a man of the people. Thank you. You know what I mean? Because that's the most streamed on the album, mm -hmm. is Money Trees. I will be running for a student council this coming year, too. Student council? <laughs> yeah. What school? <laughs> I don't know. Everyone's got an opening. Dude, you're in your 30s. I mean, so you can't just run for student council. Pres class president. Yeah, good. It would be such an easy win. You got to be in me? the class, though. Not entirely true. I don't understand this plan. Can I have your vote? <laughs> no, I can't vote either. I'm not in any school classes. This is a democracy. Riley, if anyone tells you you can't vote, you send them my way and I'll straighten them out. I don't think I should be able to vote for student council anything. I think your voice should be heard and that's why I'm running for student council. 2023, <laughs> whichever high school needs a class president. I feel like you'd probably win. You're right. You are pretty popular with high schoolers. <laughs> yeah. I am charismatic as fuck compared to an 18 year old too. Little wormy bitch. Gets nervous in front of like a girl. Put me in front of the whole gymnasium. 
<laughs> Look at me. Yeah. I will spike a baby. Bang! Like a touchdown. If you want a case of beer, vote for me. That'll be my slogan. <laughs> like, you and me are going to go to Raising Cane's, and that's like a little bit of an event. If we're going to Arby's, it's like, I hope no one sees us. Yeah, we got to get the Arby's, we got to go back, and we got to turn on the Xbox mm -hmm. and <laughs> smoke weed. Yeah, and yeah. squeeze that cheese and just see where it lands. <laughs> but to me, it means up to no good. Yeah. yeah. But like in more of a fun, kind of debaucherous sort of way. Yes. Like just drank 13 beers. That one. Bought a bottle of Casamigos tonight. Uh -huh. Purple Devil. New go future <laughs> album. Purple Devil. <laughs> Going to see the Batman tonight. Purple Devil. There you go. By myself. <laughs> Literally forgot what it's like to be touched by a woman. Purple, Purple Devil. Devil. Yeah. You know what I mean? Do you think we'll still send like Christmas cards when we're old? I don't send them now. Well, I know, but like your parents do. No. Bullshit. My parents have not sent one in like five years. Yeah. It just seems pretentious too. If I get like a letter on my door that's just your family says Merry Christmas and you're all in little cute sweaters. Like what the, it's not even an invite. It's an update. It's like a Facebook status at yeah, that point. Yeah, it's weird. It's like, shit. Yeah, we're all alive. And this is what my kids look like now. They're getting old. Yeah, look at little Dylan. Who's Little Dylan? That's like their kid. Oh, okay, word. <laughs> yeah. I thought that was like a person. Like, Check it out, Little Dylan's in our family now. <laughs> One hit wonder fame. <laughs> you had that song, Crank My Ho. Crank My Ho? You don't remember Little Dylan's track, Crank My Ho? I don't. No. I used to get fucked up to that song. <laughs> and he joined a family that you are acquaintances with back in Swanton, Ohio? Yeah, he went flat ass broke. Record label dropped him and he had to get adopted by the family that I knew. Crank My Ho was kind of a flash in the pan, it turns out, yeah. <laughs> yep, and he got addicted to pills and now the Bet Fingers adopted him. The Bet Fingers? <laughs> Bet. Oh, sorry, yeah. They're a famous family from where I'm from. They're very rich, they own lots of lands. The Bet Fingers. <laughs> Bet Fingers, that's right, two T's. B-E-T-T, F-I-N-G-E-R-S. Bet Fingers, they own lots of lands. Be careful with what you say. I'm not saying anything about powerful them. people. I get it. Yeah, bet finger. I want people to know the real you. You know yeah. what I mean? Okay. Yeah. It's time to turn the cuff boys into cuff men, I think. Okay. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. Great voice for it. Who is the Woe Kenny? Woe Kenny. Who it's is probably him? No, it's not. <laughs> He's like, oh, no, it's not, dude. I wish we let's say people that we know it's not that are funny. Oh, I got that's a good idea. Yeah. Okay, um, it could be uh -huh. Robert Downey Jr. I can kind of see yeah. that. Whoa, Kenny. Like, and then he takes off in the Iron Man. Uh, yeah, it could be him. Maybe like Dwight Howard. Really? From like while he's on the, you know how you catch like uh, voices sometimes when you're in a, watching a basketball game, you like yeah. hear him yell. Kind of sound like, whoa, Kenny. Oh. Like maybe it's his teammate's name. Is I guess, yeah, I guess it could be. It could be Jacob Sartorius. You love that guy. Great actor, but great actor. That. They should do a grown up Air Bud where he just shoots pool and dive bars. And he's really good, but he doesn't like, get no love for it. He steps out in the back, smokes a cigarette, and he's like, he rips his cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> he howls up like <laughs> What if rock bands, like drummers, had producer tags? Travis Barker has one. What's his? It's like uh, Travis is on the track or something. It's like dead on vanilla straight forward, mm. like what you'd expect it to be. I don't know. Well, he seems like the most obvious person to have one. I'm talking like if Dave Grohl had like a... Right. But is he pretty... It'd be funny to me if like Mike Dean had one. Yeah. Because he pretty... If he just like got on a pop track, like the next pop track he produces and was like, D -d -d Dean's here! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That would be really funny. But I'm just saying like, I like the idea of someone sitting at like a drum kit and then like, <laughs> as they're starting, they kind of yell out their own... Or they play their... Dave time. Grohl made this. <laughs> yeah. Is your mom ever just like, nah, not today. No, I don't want because do we only record like once a week tops, right? It could even be twice a month, dude. Uh -huh. So, like, she's like, All right, let's do it. And I'm like, All right, in an hour. I guess the unconditional love of a mother translates well to the unconditional support of a co worker, sure. Yeah, but I, I feel like she enjoys it, so she 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 just goes with the flow, yeah, totally. Yeah, and you get to talk to her more than my mom ever gets to talk to me, you know. Yeah, she gets mad at me though because I do ignore her FaceTime calls, but mm. I still love you, mom. Mom reacts to my neglect. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe this got all the way back to me That's after two crazy. attempted steals. <laughs> Minions. Minions, just minions. <laughs> minions is the fifth highest answer for one point. Well, all that for one point. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. got way too excited, but I mean, it was cool. <laughs> Riley did. Riley did. Riley did. Riley did. Come on, Riley. Give it up, Riley fans. Come on. Give get it up. up. Get up. I will give Burger King this. I will give the king his flowers on the breakfast menu. Oh, I heard that. I've heard that it's good. Yeah. That MFR can whip up some beef fast. Kind of in the vein of chicken fries, they have like French toast sticks. Yeah, those. Those are, those are gas. Yeah. Absolute slappers, uh -huh. and they had a croissant witch. That raises the question, why the fuck would you call yourself Burger King mm -hmm. <laughs> if breakfast is the best thing you do? 
I don't know, but this is- I'm the king of burgers? If French toast sticks are your special, then don't call yourself the fucking Burger King. Take a breath, buddy. It's just stupid. a fast food bracket. It's just like bullshit. I know, we're going with Marcos though, it's fine. <laughs> oh, hey, you were just asking who's the most famous person who watches Hive Mind? And here's your answer. Here we go, Zidrunis Ilgauskas. <laughs> Lithuanian legend, longtime Cleveland Cavalier, I believe four or five time All-Star, and head coach of the St. Ignatius High School basketball team, Zidrunis Ilgauskas, Big Z. Big Z, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. The dude who brought the range to the five position before it was even really a trend. That is so cool that he watches us. <laughs> What's up, Zidrunis? <laughs> Hi. Oh my God, I'm like low key. Yeah, like, I'm I'm, tw I'm jittery. What's that face? What's your problem? I'm thinking about ripping your nose ring out with a string. That's what I'm thinking about. Why would you do that? Well, because I want to catch it with like a fish hook, kind of while you're not looking, like you're sitting there working, and I kind of come in over here and it just kind of... And then you're like, <laughs> what was that? And then I go... <laughs> and I rip it out. You realize that would hurt me a lot. Oh yeah, lots of pain. Blood too, your nose bleeds like a little sucker. Like a little sucker? The bleed, the bleeding little sucker. Why would you want to do that to me? It's just like a sick fantasy in my head. I'm not gonna do it in like real life, but you ever like think about crazy shit in your mind? I mean, yeah, but like an old lady walking across your street and you just like <laughs> in your car. You ever picture stuff like that? <laughs> Was that you going back and forth? Oh yeah, like yeah. so many times. Yeah, so like you hit her and then you run back over and then you run back over. Basically, and... until it's like not a bump. Like I want to work her into the pavement. Right. <laughs> But that's just stuff you think about. It's like normal stuff. I mean, I don't think about stuff like I'll I'll have a an intrusive thought here or there. <laughs> sure, yeah. You know, like I see a guy on a bike and I go, <laughs> he should have a car, and so I'm gonna hit him. <laughs> yeah. On the bike. We're like Real quick. Squeezing the parakeets until their eyes pop out like little seeds at the pet store. Yeah. No, <laughs> I don't. I don't. Yeah. So see, I quick. don't. I don't have those thoughts. Oh, really? No. Uh, like wringing a ferret out like a bath towel. <laughs> Uh, it's funny. Life is a funny, funny game we play. <laughs> it's not a game. <laughs> I'm losing. <laughs> and I am dressed like this because I just came from a paintball game. Uh, as you can see, no paint on me. I won. But nice. yeah, this is just my paintball outfit, so. I was in a Scrambles golf tournament for people over 60. I <laughs> snuck in, destroyed the competition. <laughs> Four years early. <laughs> The bees, not the bees, the bees. Nicholas Cage and the Wicker Man. No, it was me at school. My parents were so strict. <laughs> all A's, had to be all A's. Yeah. And high standard for me. You know, you don't appreciate it when you're younger, but as you get older, you're like, you know, thank you, mom and dad, for believing. Believing that I was that A student. What school was that? School, man. They got any openings, maybe on the council? You gotta stop trying to run for student <laughs> councils, man. You gotta stop. We'll have a soda machine in every classroom. No more detentions. <laughs> Fucking disco ball in the bathroom. And I want a new ventilation system so our kids can vape. You're just selling them a dream, man. This is just give the same- Hellcats <laughs> for every varsity player. Really? <laughs> Quiz ball for fucking nerds. Oh, like- The school play? Are you declaring that Quiz Bowl is for nerds? Or are you saying <laughs> we're gonna have a Quiz Bowl for the nerds? The school play is gonna be the Wicker Man. The original one though, with that guy from Lord of the Rings, <laughs> played by Riley. I don't wanna be in a school play. <laughs> I am way too old for that. His parents were strict, but he ended up appreciating that as he got older and that's gonna make him a great lead in your school play. I don't wanna be in a school. I'd be like in my cabinet. <laughs> Grant, I, he's gonna run the treasury. I don't think there's <laughs> room in your cabinet next to all the dead cats. <laughs> the dead cats? Don't worry about those. This is what's gonna make me a great president for your class. Okay, You're not gonna so. be able to do any of that. The student council budget's probably like 50 bucks. <laughs> Xbox Live, free for everyone on the honor roll. This is like some fucked up version of Billy Madison. <laughs> Crown emoji. I like this one. I never send it, but when I receive it, when someone's like, yes, king, go king, slay king, yep. when they say stuff like that, which mm -hmm. is often, yeah. Um, and I get this one, it makes me feel good. Yeah, see, I send a screenshot of my bank account to a woman, uh -huh. and she sends back the crown emoji, yes. and I know exactly what she means.
Buy me a crown? Buy me something. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh man, if I see someone in a Hawaiian shirt, I am in Detroit walking yeah, the other way. <laughs> <laughs> I am walking the other way. Something is wrong. But if you lived in like Tampa, you'd be like, Stop neighbor. <laughs> Dude, anyone in the Midwest with a Hawaiian shirt has serotonin syndrome. I'm yes. sure of it. <laughs> and probably an ex-wife. <laughs> <laughs> also, we have a live show October 30th in Detroit, Michigan. It's a Halloween party featuring our friends, Nick is not green, Dev Lemons, Gabby Bell, Jacob Sigmund, Lil Rosie, and more. Tickets are in the description. Description, please pop out. It's gonna be super fun. It's all ages. So if you're a toddler feel free to come on out and party with us It's totally safe. If you're two years old and you're a fan of this channel You're welcome at the show and if you're a two-year-old fan of this show one other thing I got your nose. <laughs> give it back, oh, give it back. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah. <laughs> oh, and I don't mean to boil y'all down to just one picture, but this is what I have to work with. It's the name of the game. I'm sure you're all complex, beautiful people. But... I'm not sure of that, just statistically. One person in this game's a killer. Oh, yes. <laughs> they have to be. I was at a rooftop dance party the other night, uh -huh. and I, I thought that. I go, huh. <laughs> Somebody here has killed somebody. Probably. Probably. Hit and run and they've never been caught or something like yeah. that. Vehicular manslaughter, Boom. probably. And they're like, I'm not saying that everyone up there is a stabber. No. They're not that's like a rare. Yeah. You know, that's, that's rare. Rare. Talk your shit, Diggy. Tell them, Rouse. Talk to them. Say something. They don't want to hear it. Arr, arr. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it's a B. Raising Cane's versus Piata. Piata's run's over. Yeah, Piata, we've got to put you in a nice little Italian bed and say, nighty night, bozo. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> say hi to your mother for me. All right. Yeah, Almost. it's like, oh my God, Ronnie. It's yeah. like it's like a girl being like, I can't believe I'm meeting you sort of deal. Yeah, it doesn't set the tone great for me on the song. Yeah, that's true. A lot, a lot of his songs are very aggressive too. Yeah. So I kind of want it to be like something like- Ronald! <laughs> yeah. yeah, what if it, or like, Oh, something from Harry Potter. Like? Like it would be like, like You're a wizard, Harry. Or great job, Ron. Oh, like, see that. Okay. Great job, Ron. Oh, see, I thought you were just talking. No. Uh -uh. <laughs> Get the snitch. <laughs> yeah, it could be something like that. <laughs> or Slytherin. Like something, yeah. you know. I'm gonna put a witch's hat on you. I've never seen the movie. <laughs> you haven't seen them. All right. <laughs> Do you do any impressions? No. I like, don't. Can you pretend to be a garden hose? How the like, fuck? Like when you drop it and it's like whoosh, well, you just did a good one. Okay, yeah. well, that was kind of leading yeah. you in. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was so bad. <laughs> was it really? Yeah, terrible. Wait, I thought that was accurate. No, Fuck. No, I thought no. I did a, I actually did a good job. I was like, that's yeah. a 7 out of 10. That's true. People not only don't have lawns, so. I'm picky. I'm you picky. do your garden hose impression. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> What? That's like that was worse throw. than mine. <laughs> I don't think so. I have an industrial sized hose though. So, or sorry, I have industrial sized hose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's get this shit. Let's get this shit. Five most popular names in the USA. Oh, baby names. Oh, baby names. Ooh, baby names. We have a lot of babies who watch the show, by the way. So this is an important question to get. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah, a lot of babies. Oh, uh, okay, everyone, put your baby on the screen. <laughs> Is your baby in the screen yet? Is your baby watching? <laughs> Who goes Blow up. Stop crying. I'm gonna put you in the car and go where we keep the dogs. This reminds me of like a shirt at a county fair. Yeah. But it'd be the coolest one and you'd be like, I gotta, I gotta come. Damn, I gotta shoot all the star out of this target <laughs> to get that <laughs> shirt yeah. and the yeah. carnies. I up. gotta get- I see a little red in there. <laughs> You're not getting no shirt today. I gotta throw a ring on like a milk jar or whatever. <laughs> Wall like people are spitting on it. Like spraying WD-40. <laughs> yeah. That's what goes on at ICP concerts anyway. The Straight fair up, and ICP. Yeah, yeah, it's of like course, a, yeah. They are carnies. Yeah. I said we were in the horny section. I shouldn't have said that. Uh, <laughs> uh, we, got, <laughs> we got the orangutan emoji. I love this. Oh time. god, it's so good. What a beast. An absolute beast. <laughs> These are the ones like this tier of emojis. When I send them, they don't come up on people's phones. Yeah, it comes up with the question box. Right. Yeah, because yeah. I got an Android, yes. Um, it's because the government um is after me. Um and they're listening. Um and Steve Jobs went, yeah, you get it. Um <laughs> we both went with the Kendrick. I was between the two. Yeah, family ties is a way bigger song. To me, it's not really about popularity though. You're literally running for student council. I don't really care about being popular. That is like literally the definition of a popularity contest. I just want to give everyone a Hellcat, bro. Is that so much? I'm thinking I might do it in college now too. Did you said high school was so problematic? I didn't say it was so problematic. I just 
you're not in school at all. Well, maybe not problematic, but you said there'd be some problems doing it. Nobody even remembers student council in college. I do. Do you remember who was your president of your student council in oh, college? Oh, no. I want to be like president of the university. The university president. That's not student council. That's Pretty a much. different guy. They hire a guy. I don't think they're going to hire you to be the president of a university. <laughs> Why not? You don't have any experience even working in education. What does that job do? I mean, a lot of stuff. It's an administrative <laughs> role. It's They're all just politics. Politicians. I don't think those guys are politicians. They're just like random guys. President. Really. Well, Isn't a politician. okay, whatever. I don't. Yeah. You specifically made him the villain, and now you're changing him to the star? <laughs> it's kind of an anti-hero thing. Have you ever seen Midnight Cowboy? Oh, no. Wait the fuck up, Nick. Really All right. You only have to change three letters to make protagonist antagonist. Yep. So you know. Yeah, that usually happens with words that are like antonyms of other words. Shut They're the like, fuck up. Sorry. <laughs> Hard shit's like, yeah. What? Soft shit's like, whoa! <laughs> That's what he says. Why do we always turn Kendrick's song into being about poop? Because he's so serious. Yeah. And like so smart and intellectual and imparts wisdom on us. And then when you just imagine him singing about poop, <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> Kendrick Lamar got a BBL, but he is not your savior. <laughs> Are you excited, Riley, for your next like, one? Star? Yeah, stop talking over me. <laughs> <laughs> You know, if sumo oh. wrestlers shit themselves, they automatically win the match. Wait, really? Yeah. <laughs> I did not know That's that. That's like kind of the whole point. They're like trying to push the poop out of each other. Really? I bet yeah. they, those guys have to poop a lot. <laughs> Onward. There's nothing better for Ronald McDonald than a hand blow job <laughs> from the hammer <laughs> helper. It kind of looks like his gloves already. Like it's just would be him jaying off, but now he has a mouth in there. <laughs> like a Mary Poppins type mouth. Where there's no back. It goes in, there's no back. There's no yeah. back. Yeah. <laughs> it'll, it'll keep going. So he's like, I hate that. <laughs> Stop, you fucker. That is gross. I hate to keep going down this juvenile, disgusting sexual sure. lane, but God, we're so that going. spoon could also come in handy <laughs> in the back end. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Hey. You put the silver where? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> All right, tropical smoothie versus five guys. Wow, your healthy aunt versus your big fat uncle. Here. <laughs> I sucked Bigfoot's big dick in the Pacific Northwest. <laughs> the greatest shirt of all time. Gotta give it up. Gotta give it up. Thank you, Aubrey. Everybody give it up. This is Aubrey Key. Uh, it doesn't say if he finished him off, but that's a story for another day. <laughs> that's it. We haven't seen the back of the shirt. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Did Bigfoot return the favor? I guess we'll never know, you know? All right, lastly, we have Sheldon Cooper from The Big Bang Theory. And he says, uh, Bazinga. Oh, yeah, yeah, yep. yep. That's his producer tag. Uh -huh. Bazinga. Not a lot of 808s in his music, but a lot of tags. A lot of tags. Uh, and then, I mean. Laugh tracks. His laugh tracks. Laugh hard. track is one of them. <laughs> and then Bazinga is one of them. Uh -huh. And then also the one that's like, knock, knock, penny, knock, knock, penny, knock, that knock, penny. That one's good, knock, too. Knock, 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 penny, knock, knock, penny. <laughs> what? He's got to have like a young Sheldon one, too. Um, yeah, I. Young Shell Shell's are like Bazinga! Yeah, it could be like a high pitched Bazinga. It yeah, could be that could be cool. Next, we got the bowling emoji. Oh, you about just popped out of your chair, didn't you? I mean, it's taken on a new meaning recently, but I was already kind of horny for bowling regardless. It's taken on a horny meaning? See, he ain't on Twitter. You know what? what I mean? Well, I would be on Twitter if they let me on there. I got wrapped up in that whole January 6th thing and I wasn't even there. You're doing fan art of the shaman as it was happening. I mean, some people go crazy for the Met Gala fits. To me, his outfit inspired me. All right, well, whatever. Either way, you shouldn't be allowed on that platform, but- You guys want to make this one interesting? Yeah. $20 to a charity of your choice for whoever the winner is? Whoa. Can, can the charity be the liquor store? <laughs> <laughs> can, the, no. can the charity- no. Yeah. No, yeah. yeah. See, we're like almost doing it. <laughs> Yeah, it's like it's like. <laughs> it's kind of like. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. What was that Pete Buttigieg song you were singing earlier? High hopes. Bye. Panic at the disco. I just. It's not for me. I was just wondering. Yeah, they did like a campaign. That was his campaign song, and people would do this dance to it, and it was like <laughs> real youth group vibes. It was awesome. Yeah. It's kind of like a cool ass cult if you think about it. And it's pretty cool. He killed a man in Afghanistan. Did he really? Yeah, he's a vet, don't they all? I don't think that everybody killed somebody <laughs> over there. How do you get into the army? You can like fool around on a computer and be in the army. Yeah, but like <laughs> secondhand, you kill someone. Okay, then we all participate in the murders, I guess. Facts, brother. Now now you're starting to get my point of view on this whole broken American system. I guess. I kind of tricked you into that one. I radicalized you without you even knowing. <laughs>
And that's what I'll do for you, your your university. If you hire me as your president. <laughs> don't hire him. He shouldn't be president of anything. <laughs> what about a YMCA? I don't think they have. Do they have presidents of sure. those? Probably just like a manager, owner, or whatever. Do you think I could be the president of the NRA? I hope not. You've never been much of a gun fan. You really like knives. Yeah, but you could use it for good. What? The guns. Guns for good. You could kill the feral cats and give them to me <laughs> in my community. Oh, you want more cats in your cabinet? <laughs> cats in the cabinet. <laughs> I do like that song. I a like little it. boy living his dad's on the moon. It's about Louis Armstrong's son, because he's living and his dad's on the moon. <laughs> Playing the trumpet. <laughs> I'm going to go with Jacob. Jacob is not included. That and felt like a surefire. After the Twilight movies, it's like, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, what? I mean, like, who's they? What are they doing with their kids? I mean, what are people doing with their kids? What are they doing with their kids these days? What are they doing with their kids these days? Oh, my God. Rachel is B. Henry is A, and Elise is C. Nice. Did it think Elise no, it was said, Siri? It said, hey Siri, Rachel is B, Henry is A, <laughs> and Elisa C. <laughs> No way! So my Siri just picked up Grant's thing. Yeah, that's Grant's weird. voice. Money ain't a thing to me. Oh, swag. Put your hands up for Detroit, please. Hey, come on, please. Three, one, three, stand up. Come on. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Get up.